Hello, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you can hear or not, but I'm actually quite ill at the moment. But because I haven't had videos up for the last two weeks, I haven't had time or chance to film any, I really wanted to get a video up for you guys um, today. So I'm battling through. Don't know why, but I've chosen to do a lush haul, even though I have a cold. So probably can't smell anything <laughs> amazingly well. But I have it all up on my laptop so I can explain to you what they smell like and things, and you can see them. So yeah, recently I went to lush. I literally haven't been to lush in such a long time. I only tend to go in there occasionally because it can add up and become quite expensive for me. <laughs> Personally, I can't just go in and like buy one or two things. Although this time I've only bought four, which is quite good for me. Yeah, so I have a little Lush haul for you. Okay, so the first one I picked up, I don't know if these ones are new or not. As I said, I don't really go into Lush very often, so I don't know if they're new or they're around last year or whatever. Um, but these are the ones that were new to me. I haven't used Actually, I don't think I've used any of these ones before. These are all new to me. Um, the first one is a bubble bar, and it is called Milky Bar. Um, let me get my description up for you. Okay, so this one is, as you may have guessed, shaped like a little milk bottle. It's so cute, and I love the little glitter on the top. It's adorable. Um, but it says, on the website, it says, Don't cry with spilled milk. Bathe in it. This comforting little milk bottle... Bubble Bar is filled with uplifting orange oil and skim milk to treat your skin to a dose of happiness. It smells so good. A cocoa bottle, but cocoa butter bottle top adds a little extra softness and you simply crumble it in the water and it creates bubbles and it smells really good. To me, it kind of smells like soap. Like, some people might find that quite a boring smell, but I absolutely love that smell. It's one of my favourites. I always tend to go for really fresh, clean, soft scents. This is definitely a soft scent. And there's actually a review on the website of this one saying um, that it gives really good bubbles and the bubbles actually last throughout your whole bath. So that excites me because it really annoys me when you get like, really good bubbles and you get in the bath and they all disappear. If anyone else does that bug anyone else, that really bugs me. Okay, so the second one I picked up is called Green um, and it's a bar bubble, bubble rune. So they're shaped like macaroons and if you haven't guessed it, this one is green. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Green. Lovely. This one kind of, to me, smells like sweets, but I don't know if that's what it's meant to smell like. To me, it smells like a bag of Haribo. Um, it says, this moisturising citrus scented bubble bar um, will put you in mind of fresh summer meadow. Mm, with bergamot to brighten your mood, fresh avocado to re rejuvenate, and sheer butter to make your skin feel like a velvet. This bath time macaroon shaped treat aren't quite as bubbly as our other bars, but do contain extra softening ingredients that create silky soft water leaving your skin hydrated. I found that really hard to say, I don't know if you can tell, but this does smell really good. I'm not really getting citrus, maybe I am, I don't know. To me it's quite sweet, it smells quite sweet, but it does feel really like moisturising, like it's kind of melting in my fingers because it's quite warm today, but it's really soft and nice. I always find with Lush because they cost so much. I always try to get as many baths out of things as I possibly can. My fingers are going green. Yo, <laughs> that is green, the uh, bubble rune. They do them in um, other colours as well. I think they do it, let me check, in a rosy colour. Yeah, they do it in like a pink. It's called rose. The rose one said it's filled with rose jam, lemon, rose and geranium oil. So that's what the rose one smells like. But oh my god, look at my fingers. They're like green. Get off. Now I look like Shrek for the rest of the video. But yeah, I personally preferred the smell of this one than I did the pink one, obviously, because I brought the green one. Okay, so the next one that I picked up is called Karma. This one to me is a lot stronger. The smell of this one is very different to anything else that I've ever picked up before. As I said at the beginning, I normally go for the really clean kind of soap smells. This one is definitely not that. Um, I also feel it's going to make my bath very interesting colour. Here it is. So it's got the purple on the outside, orange, oh my god it's crumbling, orange around the middle and there's glitter on the top. And it says, <laughs> um, get an instant lift with this bubble bar um, with your signature exotic orange and pan patchouli fragrance. Sweet orange oil is refreshing, tangy and uplifting as is lemongrass oil. Um, and there's also like a lavendin, lavandin, I don't know. It's like a lavender kind of smell. Oh, it smells so good. Like I said, definitely stronger. It's very um, incense-y. You're probably all like, you have no idea what you're smelling. No, I don't. It's just what comes to my mind when I smell things. And incense comes to my mind when I smell this one. I do really like the smell though. But I feel like I'm only going to need to use like a small amount each time. Because it might be a bit overpowering. 
This might be quite nice to use if you're like having a bath before you're going out or something because it's not as relaxing as the other ones. It's not going to like make you go ah, in the bath smell but I do really like this smell and I love the colour. Actually do you know what I kind of hope it makes my bath go bright purple. I tell you what I'll leave my snapchat link down below actually I think it is down below and when I use them I'll snapchat them and you'll be able to see what they do look like if you haven't seen them before. Actually, it's kind of clearing my nose a little bit. <laughs> Last but not least, is actually probably my favourite one of the haul, and the only bubble, nope, the only bath bomb in it, and it's called Secura. I think that's how you say it. Let me show you it. Um, and it's it's quite a floral scent this one, but again, for me, there we are. Look, it's pink. But I love how this smells. Um, it said it's a celebration of spring bursting with floral fragrance inspired by cherry blossom in Japan. This pretty bomb is designed to evoke the burst of optimism that the first sign of spring brings. Calming mimosa and jasmine oils are complemented by lemon oil and orange flower to bring the mind the smell of bring to mind the smell of the colourful season. And it really does that. This smell kind of reminds me of when you go on like your spring walk through like a wood area or like through fields and things and you can just smell all the wildflowers around you. I adore this, the smell of this bath bomb. I actually think it's my favorite ever that they've ever done that I've ever bought. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. This one is very pink though. I've, um, they normally, the one they've got on the website to show you is green, look. Mine does not look like that. <laughs> mine is definitely pink, but I'm happy with that. There you go, there is my little lush haul with a snotty nose. I'm really sorry if I've grossed you out in this video, but I really wanted to get one filmed and get it up for you guys. I hate missing videos, and it really frustrates me when I go, don't get a chance to film them for you. This is why I've gone down to one video a week, because two videos a week were just, it was just impossible for me to do anymore. So, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. I love a good lush haul. Let me know what your favourite thing is from lush, because I always want to try new things, and I'm not very adventurous. This time I did really well. I like stayed away from everything that I've normally used and gone for things that are completely new to me and I've really surprised myself I'm so excited to use them all. So yes, thumbs up this video in you if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!